Good day everyone, I'm Tim Fennell, I'm from the Northwest University and I'm going to speak about the sulfur dioxide and water co-absorption on platinum surfaces. Now, this has been conducted by myself and Prof. Courtney van Sutter from the Northwest University. Now, a lot of interest has been shown towards the development of more sustainable energy um, processes and sources of energy, among which hydrogen has been identified as a viable alternative to fossil fuels. And in one of the methods to produce hydrogen is the hybrid sulfur cycle, where sulfur dioxide and water reacts to produce hydrogen and sulfuric acid. Now, a key component of this cycle is the catalyst surface, uh, whereupon this reaction takes place and usually plat platinum is chosen and one of in this study we investigated the co-absorption of these two species onto the platinum surface through the employment of density functional theory and sulfur dioxide and water were absorbed in different arrangements on the pristine surface this was performed through the employment of the VASP computer simulation program and 120 cores at the Center for High Performance Computing in Cape Town, South Africa. This has taken quite a lot of CPU time, roughly about 200 years, and we can see here at the results that the adsorption of sulfur dioxide is significantly stronger than that of water. Furthermore, the adsorption of water is significantly dependent on whether sulfur dioxide is adsorbed onto the surface or not. However, sulfur dioxide does not show a significant dependency on whether water is already adsorbed onto the surface. In figure 4, we can see that the sulfur dioxide, however, is dependent on whether another sulfur dioxide is present on the surface already. Therefore, strong adsorption of SO2 is observed and the weaker of water and co-adsorption of the two shows a de significant dependency on the adsorption order. Thank you very much.